welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 3.14 of chapter 3 and the statement of it is the waiting time in hours between successive speed or spotted by a radar unit is a continuous random variable with cumulative distribution function okay so cdf for it is given in the form of this in which this is zero for all the values less than zero and it is one minus x e of e to the power of minus 8 x for all the values greater or equal to 0 okay so here what do we have to do we have to find the probability of waiting less than 12 minutes between successive speeders okay so this is now the solution and here it has two parts we have to find the probability of waiting less than 12 minutes by using the cdf and by using the pdf as well okay so uh, first of all we have to see that here the data has been given here this is x and x has been given in the form of this 12 okay this 12 is basically in the form of minutes but here we have this distribution in the form of hours okay so what do we have to do i have to convert from this 12 minutes in the unit of hours okay so therefore what do i have to do i have to write this 12 and divide it over the total number of minutes in an hour okay so by converting it what will i get here 12 divided by 60 is 0 0.2 hours okay so this is what we have found out now in order to solve it by using a which is by using the cdf what do i have to do i have to write these values okay and uh, for writing them what do i have to do i have to find these values by using the f of x so here we have to write the probability that x is less than 0 0.2 okay so when this is less than 0 0.2 it will be f of 0 0.2 okay so if this is here this value which is x is greater than 0 so therefore just i have to pick this instance okay and here i have to write the value of x which is 0 0.2 so therefore it will be 1 minus exponential of minus 8 multiplied by 0 0.2 Okay. so here i will get 1 minus exponential of minus 1.6 and ultimately it will give me 0 0.7981 which is the solution of part a by using the cdf okay so by using the cdf what did i found out i have found out the probability that the waiting time is less than 12 minutes between the successive speeders okay now in order to do similar thing by using the pdf which is the probability density function here i have to do what i have to write here the f of x okay which is what here we are given the cdf and in order to find the pdf from the cdf what do i have to do i have to find the derivative of this f of x which is d f of x divided by d of x okay so this will only range between these values because all others are zeros so therefore when i will derive it or I will find the derivative of this 1 minus e of 8 minus x which is let me write it here so derivative of 1 minus exponential of minus 8x divided by dx so here what will I get I will get here minus 8 exponential of minus 8x okay so this is what this is the probability density function which we have here okay so this is f of x now in order to find the values of it what we have what do i have to find out here i have to find these values by integrating it from 0 to the range which is here 0 0.2 hours okay because my ultimate goal is to find the same quantity by using the pdf in order 
to show that all these concepts are similar but the methods are different okay so therefore here i will have minus 8 exponential of minus 8 x and here d of x so here it will give me what it will give me sorry here i have made a mistake because here when this will be 1 minus so here it will be plus okay so this is again plus and here i will get 8 here it will be minus 8x dx okay so now let me move down somehow okay so now here the range is from 0 to 0 0.8 now in order to do so what do we have to do here by integrating it and then finding the solution of it what i will get i will get here minus 8x divided by minus 8 multiplied by 8 and this range is from 0 to 0 0.2 okay here it is also 0 0.2 sorry my bad so these two will cancel out and here I will have here minus exponential of minus 8x it is from 0 to 0 0.2 okay so now uh, finding these ranges by writing the highest range first and then this range what I will get here I will get minus exponential of minus 8 into 0 0.2 okay and then subtracting it from minus and then minus exponential of minus 8 into 0 okay so here i will get minus exponential of minus 1.6 and then here this minus minus will become what plus so plus 1 or it is 1 minus exponential of minus 1.6 okay we can see that these two quantities which is here and which is here these two are similar okay so therefore the answers of it will also be similar and it will be 0 0.7981 okay so the similar answer we have got from this question is what we have obtained from the cdf as well okay so that is what that is basically the solution of part b of our question okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the probability calculation by using the cdf and pdf as well if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon